Hello, Andre Van Barneveld, Grace Consultancy, and together with AHDB, I'm trying to bring you some of the top tips and current issues. And this week, just a quick chat about fertilizer and in particular, chemical nitrogen use. So should we be continuing to apply chemical nitrogen in these dry conditions? And the big thing is that nitrogen is, is more like an accelerator. And so if there's very little growth, there's very little opportunity for acceleration. And so when you catch up to the last rotation of fertilizer and it's still there, there's no use in applying more fertilizer. If the dry period continues for some time, you'll also find that nitrate will build up around the root of the plant. And so when the first rain comes, nitrogen is not going to be a limiting factor to optimum growth rates. So even at that time, make sure that there's follow-up rain in the forecast and, and get out with some chemical nitrogen in the second rain rather than at the first sight of any moisture. Um, you have to see it as an accelerator rather than a fertilizer to understand what you might benefit from the application. You've also got to consider first and foremost your pH. Make sure that your pH is in that 6.2 to 6.5 range. The, the key to soil health is having that, that in the right range and, and your fertilizer efficiency is driven by your right pH. Another forgotten element is sulfur. Now sulfur is a massive driver of chlorophyll, that green color in the plant. And so when you see the yellowing, uh, quite often it's a lack of sulfur and especially following a wet winter like we've had, the sulfate sulfur has probably been stripped out of the soil more than, than usual. And uh, sulfur is, is highly necessary in the mobilization of nitrogen as well to turn into plant growth. And it's, it's massive, um, it plays a massive role in uh, production of amino acid in the, in the uh, plant. So the right proteins are driven by sulfur. P and K, massive influence on root development and uh, plant health. So making sure that all these fertilities are in the right zones to get optimum fertilizer efficiency out of your nitrogen is, is key. So the key at the moment is panic slowly. Don't rush out with a heap of nitrogen at the first sight of rain, but get out there in that follow-up rain when you do get some growth.